here we are. Good old um, US Grand Prix. He said, I sorry, um, I said that there's gonna be um, um, here at the USA we're gonna have a new livery, but uh, like a one-off livery for the US Grand Prix, but I can't get it. So um, yeah, we're gonna stick like this. And also, we got penalties um for changing our gearbox or whatever it is, something. Anyway, back at the back of the grid, Nick DeVries is in P18, I believe. P22, 21, 28, 19, yeah, P18, which is great for him. So let's see what we can see what we can do. And it's lights out and away we go. It's a decent start from us. We're catching up with um, that's George Russell and Nicholas Latifi on the other side. George Russell, what a dive bomb that was. Bear in mind it for us. It, probably, it was very close to being another yellow flag into the first corner because of how slow we're going. But you can see everyone's going through well and here we are battling. Nick DeVries gets a bad getaway and goes down to P21, which isn't exactly what we would want. But up next we've got the Iceman in P17. Um, ahead of him in P16 is our new rival, Charles Leclerc. So hopefully we can get, get him. And as you can see, we overtake Kimmy, which is good. But he's going to try to fight back into the corner. We're going to go around the outside and squeeze him up, off. And now we are up into P17 officially. And hopefully we can overtake Charles Leclerc. And we are going to attempt to do so on our arrival into the penultimate corner. And there we go, overtaking him. Simple. And as he gets golloped by Kimmy, because we squeezed him out so bad. Wow. Also, yeah. I did go a bit wide. I did lose my I did lose a bit of control with my car. But it wasn't my fault, look. I did. I I just oversteered off the track. But that is um, Lance Stroll and we completely devour him he's going to try to fight back but we are in a position and we should be able to overtake we should be able to keep the position right. um, Antonio Giovinazzi up ahead we do one big mistake Lance Stroll is going to come out back at us now which is a very 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 bad and lap two but we are going to keep the position. And next up, Antonio Giovinazzi. We are going to try to do a late braking overtake. There you could see he just gets us there. But we are going to still keep on fighting. And through those corners, we're going to completely destroy him, wreck him, some may say. He just got wrecked. R E K T. Anyway, now it's the dive bomber, George Russell. He's not letting us through one way or another, which is a bit sad. And he can't go through there. But we do get DRS. No, we don't get... Yeah, we do get DRS. Oh, maybe it's lap four. Anyway, you sweep past him now. We just have to catch up with Lando Norris, who is far ahead, so hopefully... And also, yes, we are in the mediums. I thought that this would be the strat the best strategy for us, because I know that we can overtake cars on the mediums and the other drivers on the soft. So if imagine how, far, imagine how good we'll be on the soft when everyone's on the mediums. So that's my strategy yet again probably my favorite anyway I've forgotten which lap it is I believe it's lap five maybe four no, no maybe six actually 
Uh, I think the next lap is six. But anyway, we are closing up. We don't get DRS still, but we hopefully will into the next few corners because he is right close now. As you can see, here we do get DRS. So hopefully we can overtake Norris now. As you can see, we're very close and we go do a bit of a mistake there. But we are going to try to sweep through here because this is because this we can take flat out and the AI the AI can't do so much with it. So now we are right up close to the um to Lando. So let's hope we can destroy Lando and then celebrate with Nando's. Uh, no big deal. Uh, I guess. Uh, sorry, Lando. I have your signature somewhere. Um, yeah. I might, I might show you one day on my vlog channel as that is Daniel Ricardo. You could just understand that it just went off. And we just get past him. It's, it's very sad for him. I feel sorry for him. He was doing a great race ahead of Norris. And now everyone else is pitting. It's a battle between me and Lando and we're going to do one great overtake into the first corner. I don't believe any contact was made into it either. Which is good. And we should be ahead of him in the pit stops. He does get DRS but... Are we, he does still have husky chocolate on his car. Oh, I didn't know. This is us coming in now. So, let's just hope that we could um, get out in time for, in time to, let's just hope that we can do the best when we get out. Because we will be on the soft, as I said, and hoping that we could do great on the soft. And there we go. Not the fastest of, it's not the fastest. But it's it, 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 it's a um, pit stop. And that is Sergio Perez in P7. We are in P6. And we were down in P13 um, when Ricardo retired. Well, we were in P12 when he retired. We jumped half of... We've divided the position that we are in by two. And now we're fighting for the position for um, for Sebastian Vettel. We're bound to get drive of the day. Let's just hope that we can um, keep the track car on the um, road first. Because they're because obviously I'm recording it on the replay, the race replay, and not like me like in like actually like doing it and I don't know what's coming up next and so I know what's happening and you're about to witness a great overtake not into these this corner but we are we are going to attempt to do it now what an overtake that is and we're gonna try to get him on the exit there's still wheel to wheel into the corner but we destroy him. Get wrecked, Seb. Get wrecked, Seb. Alex Albon now. We're going to try to make a move into the corner, but we're just too far back. Albon's doing a good job in P4, but it's um, literally lap 12 and no, lap 11, I believe. And we are just closing in to Alex as we're going to make the overtake nearly coming around the outside this will be a tricky move if i even manage to get anywhere close to doing it and i do what a beautiful overtake unfortunately nothing else happened and p4 from p22 got um yeah got um p4 got um 13 points <sighs> got fastest lap um and 
yeah, good points for the standings. Don't move anywhere, but um, Valtteri Bottas, with that win, takes him one point ahead of his teammate. And nothing else changes in the uh, um, constructors. We are just getting ever closer to Sebastian Vettel in the in the um, drivers' championship. And that was it. Um, Nick de Vries came P21 out of 21, which is pretty bad, actually. I was hoping that he could do better, really, because where he started. But ever since the start began, he just kept on... He just bogged down a little. He just got overtaken, devoured by absolutely everyone. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Do you think that grid penalty was justified? Uh, obviously I'm a cut child and you and other childs watching this might not know the word so yeah I'm just gonna say I don't know the word justified you gained a lot of positions during the race didn't you yeah that's not a question our, well our power advantage really um idiot absolute idiot I mean I came p4 from P22. Don't <laughs> at me. Idiot. We don't get a podium, but we are getting close to overtaking Max. And we do get a f bit. F so we do get a bit of a claim from that race. Don't manage to get all our sponsors because obviously we had the penalty. Um, and there was a 20 p um, place penalty and I would have re I would I, I'm not very experienced around which is where we are in the, at circuits of the circuit of the circuit of the Americas and we're not I'm not very um I'm not very good around it so I know it's nearly impossible for me to get um um a good um I know it's nearly impossible to get um to get a pole. So if I do, unfortunately, we don't. This has failed us, which is a bit annoying, really. What do you think of this one? Okay, um, I'll try to get that one, but I'd rather get two, so we can. Wait a second, we have to get this one first. And now that it goes up, great. Life is great. Oh, that, we're so close to getting these. We can, we could have got these. Ah, two upgrades aren't just, aren't gonna happen. Uh, we got a major chassis, chassis upgrade in time for the um, Grand Prix weekend after this, which is annoying. But we got something new on customization now, which is good. Excuse me. It's new car livery. Let's check it out. Oh, well, I like that. Might go f for that for the Australian Grand Prix. Just a one off, I guess. Let's make this um, blue. Let's make this. Um, and let's make this black. Just a one off the Australian Grand Prix, maybe. I'm just thinking about it. Could look cool. I mean, that actually looks really cool. I, I really like that. Actually. Anyway, we are going to keep um, that livery. Um, we're going to have that livery for the rest of the season. This livery. The livery that we have now. New suit, 
That's cool. What do we get? We do have this suit. What? Okay, that looks cool. That looks cool. It only has two colours, so unfortunately. So we're not going to be able to do that. We're going to go to this livery, if you know the livery for the... Um, yeah, we're hopefully going to go for that livery for the next Grand Prix. Look, we do have that American livery. I just don't know why we don't have the car livery. Because there is a car livery, I know. There is a car livery. An American one that has an American flag on. I know it, there is. I'm gonna make th this like um um a bluish colour. Gonna make that white, and I'm gonna make this um the next one yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. If we can, I'll get this for the British Grand Prix. I'll be happy with that livery. It looks nice. So what's the new livery for the next season? If you don't know, it's this. It's very white. We'll change the um, sponsor decal um, at the end of the season. But uh, no, we're going to keep the same name. Team Colours. Copy from the new. Copy. I said, I would copy the Leroy Colours. And we're going to accept that. We're going to go to Badges. We're going to keep that. And then next season, we're going to go to. Ne next season, we're going to go to this. Because look at these styles that you can go for. I mean, wow. You can really go ahead with this. Jeez. Okay, everything's looking good. We're going to save... This is the time where we're going to save money for our new teammate for the, rest, for the next season. So we're going to try to go, so we're going to save money for next season. And we're going to, um, we're going to just hope that we could, um, finish a good position in the championship. I mean, hopefully we can catch up with Vettel. Maybe even overtake him. Hopefully get a win next season. Whoa. They've announced that the technical regulations are changing for next season. Now there's a risk a lot of our hard work undone if we're not careful so let's figure out how to mitigate this drivers take a look at the developments we have and let us know what you want to invest in protecting all right everyone let's get on top of this okay um um this is not a drill we um new regulation changes are happening for um next season so we are gonna have to try to go into the r d and fix and make sure we get everything it's a bit sad because um, we're so close to the season and we're not going to be able to save much so i'm going to be doing practice sessions every single um every single race weekend to get as many r and d points to get um oh ouch ow that hurts um anyway I'm going to try to um, get as many R&D points as possible during practice sessions and hopefully we'll be able to um, get ahead of this problem for next season. So, just need to focus on... ...against practice sessions. Even if you're confident in your setup, these sessions are still useful for development data. Uh, yeah, and if you don't know, I skip a lot of practice sessions. But and he says that more than once at a weekend which is very annoying okay at least these are okay 
I'm going to try to s adapt this part because we don't have enough because that's a major part and if we lose that I don't think we could afford to lose it it's it could be crucial for next season and how we perform because we need to get a good powertrain so we can actually get good results also we're not very good in that not very good in that uh, hello, we're better than Williams at least. Better than Williams in that. So I don't know why we're, I'm actually so good at this. Um. So oh yeah, I'll be working on this a bit more um, off camera because this is very very big. This is a big issue. Ev it could change everything, guys. Absolutely everything. We do get quite a few fastest laps, which is great. Driver details. We get seven fastest laps. Jeez, wow. How many races have we done? Race, races. How many races have we done? We've done 19 and 7. I've got the fastest lap. We've got one pole position. Four podium finishes. We've driven quite a few miles, and we've used quite a lot of our money. Okay, this is big. Okay, I'm gonna um go and go to practice two. I'm gonna skip practice one because I hate the wet, even though I'm pretty good at it. I mean, we got our first podium and our fourth podium in the wet weather. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe. And if you like the video, sure, well, we do daily videos just like this. So you have to just keep those notifications on. And obviously, because you do like it, then like it. And if you dislike it, here's a little trick. Like it, and you'll get infinite luck. If you do like it, and you do want to like it, like it, and you'll get infinite luck. Subscribe, do it, or do all of that for infinite luck. And trust me, it really works. Once I um I got a scar on my finger and then the um the next day it disappeared because I did the same thing to someone knows this channel, so make sure you do it. And yeah, see you guys next time. Hope you um for the Mexican Grand Prix and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye.